Howdy folks, I'm here at a new location um, at the hot springs of Manakaran. I've been in a little tiny village called Vashisht near Manali, um, which uh, is several hours away from here by bus. So after two weeks staying in that little village of Vashisht, then I uh, finally decided it was time for a change. I'd heard uh, good things about this area of Manakaran from a German guy that I met uh, while I was trekking in Nepal, a guy that I um, did part of my trek with. And it's in the Parvati Valley, which I heard was, was uh, very beautiful. There's a uh, couple of other spots along the way that are uh, destinations to check out. And so I made it. I got here uh, um, just 10 minutes ago or so. It was kind of an intense uh, bus ride. It's only 20 miles. Well, from, from, uh, from Manali, it was about two hours south. And then I had to change buses. And then from there, that bus ride was only 20 miles, but it must have been two hours. I didn't actually uh, check the time there, but um, it felt like about two hours on this just uh, tiny little winding road through the Himalayas up this uh, river, which I'll show in just a uh, second. So I'm here in my hotel room. It's a very uh, odd hotel room. <laughs> it's twice as expensive as the one that I had in Vashisht. But it's especially funky. I don't know how well you can see here, but just funky carpeting, funky uh, little table there, very weird looking TV from like the 60s or something it looks like, um, a chair here with a massive rip in it. The uh, bathroom door doesn't close properly. For some reason there is a window into the bathroom. <laughs> Very strange. But at least I have attached bathrooms. Supposedly there's hot water. But check out the awesome part is the views on three sides. This massive window. So the hot springs are um, out there. There's a bunch of different pools. You can see a little bit of steam coming up from them there. And then one more window over here. And then I'll head outside and show uh, the full view. Beautiful river there. You can see a bridge crossing over the river off in the distance there. There are several temples here. Uh, it is a Sikh um, uh, pilgrimage spot or sacred place or whatever. Sikhs are in the Punjab area. They're a completely separate religion from Hinduism or uh, Islam or anything else, or your own religion. Um, so there's a bunch of different temples here. Maybe there are some Hindu temples as well. Yeah, I think the, the, the owner here, when he checked me in, said there's a Shiva temple, so that would be, that would be Hindu. But, um, Interesting spot here, kind of ramshackle looking a little bit, but uh, uh, pretty cool location. Looks like there's some good hiking probably if there's some trails up, up these mountains. A little bit of snow up there. So I'm just uh, going to head out and try to find uh, something to eat. I'm starving. Walk over that bridge there, get over to the other side there, and uh, look for a nice spot to hop in the hot springs. So, glad to be here. Not sure how long I'm, I'm going to stay. Probably just, maybe just tonight, maybe two nights, we'll see. But uh, probably not going to stay long from here, heading to a different area of the Himalayas, Dharamsala, where the Dalai Lama lives. And then from there, I'm going to Srinagar. I've changed my plans. I was going to be uh, trying to go from uh, Manali, where I'd been uh, at that village of Vishisht for the past couple weeks, to Ladakh. But uh, that isn't going to be possible for several weeks because of the high pass. But I was informed that there's another way you can go around through Srinagar, and the passes there aren't as high, and so you can um, get up to the dock that way earlier. So we'll see. That's a lot of bus rides. I'm just going to uh, um, take it a day at a time and, and see where I end up and, and how far I want to go. So for now, glad to be here.